Good evening, Dr. Heron, Madam Chair, members of the board, thank you for having us here this evening. Um, it's an honor to be here, and I am very proud of my teachers and students who have founded the Exceptional Eagles Club at our school this year. And I am not going to speak about it, I'm going to turn it over to them because they have a, a great message to share with you this evening. Coach Brown will introduce uh, his staff members and the students. Good evening. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for having us here. Uh, thank you to our administration for supporting us through this, our, our endeavors with the Exceptional Eagles Club. Uh, first and foremost, I want to announce the co-sponsors, teachers. Uh, I have Ronnell Brown, who is our curriculum lead uh, inclusion teacher, uh, Miss Missy Fur. She's an art teacher here at the high school. Uh, Catherine Peterkin is also an inclusion teacher here with us today. Uh, that helped sponsor the club and got it started. Uh, today, I'm not going to spend too much about the Exceptional Eagles Club because the students really came to us about it. Uh, they wanted to help out students with uh, disabilities and help mainstream them into the general population as far as social activities and not just educational. So Connor Gilfillan and Sam Lee, they're going to lead us through our PowerPoint presentation. Tonight we have the Exceptional Eagles Club at Jamestown High School. Uh, we're a club that aims to promote the awareness and the acceptance of students with disability. Um, we're out here, we got uh, kids both with and without disability just hanging out bowling on a Monday night. Uh, it started with some um, interest from some students who wanted to work with students with disability. Also some teachers who had some background, they wanted to work with students with disability. And we just found that there was a need to find ways to reach out and get students with disability to go out to social activities, to go to games, and do different, <laughs> things, different things. So we're very excited. This is one of our major events, first uh, big events, so we're very excited. Everybody needs to have like a high school experience. And a lot of times, kids uh, sometimes feel awkward or Maybe feel like not invited or included in other things. So I think it's really important to know that there's a community of people that want to get together and they want to go out and do other things and have fun. Hi, my name is Sam Lee. Our mission as the Exceptional Eagles is to create a united community by celebrating individualism, acceptance, and diversity. So our overall goals are basically just to kind of create a community where everyone celebrates their differences and just comes together and just appreciates everyone for who they are. And it's also to not only just incorporate everyone and feel, have them feel welcomed, it's also to educate other students so that they learn about the differences and learn to accept everyone for those differences. So one event that we did was the Slave Bell 5K, and we kind of just all got together, and we actually had Jamestown High School on our shirts, and we just went out there to support the club. And then we also have Monday night bowling nights where we all come out and just have a good time. And these are some pictures that are from the night, which you got a little snippet of in the video. So another thing we like to do is Mondays during, we have AEP when we have, I think, 25 minutes and we have two separate groups where we'll go in and they have a girls group and then another group and we learn about social skills and how to interact with everyone and it's just kind of to show everyone how to kind of talk to everyone else in the school and create relationships. Tonight we have some students with us who have directly impacted or been impacted by the Exceptional Eagles Club that will come up and share their views on uh, the club. So I had to write it down because I had a short note. Well, I couldn't really like have it all at one time. Well, whatever, I can't talk. <laughs> so it says, hi, I'm Meredith. I am here to tell you about how my experience about my experience with you young exceptional eagles. This lonely path through this maze has many traps. My friends from this club have helped me 
find my way through this clearing, I, to the clearing. I am thankful for the numerous times of helping me find my way around this maze of obstacles. Let us keep helping others find their way to the clearing. Thank you very much. I've been accepted because I felt like I was part of the family. And um, Bowen was a lot of fun. It helped me get out of the house, not be on be in my electronics a lot, not like stay home all day, all night, just sleep in. So have you made friends? I've made a lot of friends at Jamestown, but I still miss my old school at Lafayette. So um, <laughs> I'll be able, I like, I like Jamestown a lot better. But, it, yeah, but we're still cool, right? Yeah. Yes. And um, I really thank you all for making me, make me feel part of, the, your, part of the family. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Gabriel, and, and the re, and the reason why the reason why I decided to join the Exceptional Eagles Club is because I like bowling, and I made a lot of friends. Because I because I like to socialize with them. And I also ha has sleepover on my birthday. Is that all? Yes. Hi, I'm Connor Gilfillan. And I have a sister named Gigi who goes to Claire Bird Baker. She has special needs and she likes to play basketball, sing, dance, and socialize. I hope to keep this club moving so that when she's in high school, she can participate in activities like bowling night and the exceptional games. The club is already moving better than we thought it would and we hope to launch a branch in each school in the county. Once this is done, we like to hold an annual exceptional games at the end of the school year in which kids of all ages with special needs can participate in games and they can participate in basketball, swimming, and soccer games and races and stuff like that. Okay, so one more thing that we're planning on doing is March 6th is um, kind of raise awareness about the R word and to get rid of it. So we as a school have decided to make a banner of a pledge and basically the pledge says I pledge and support the elimination of the derogatory use of the R word and promote the acceptance and inclusion of all students and it's going to be put on I think like a 12 foot by two and a half foot banner that will hang will have during lunches we were going to have all the students sign it so that we're going to hang it up so that everyone kind of ra it raises awareness and um, it just promotes the elimination of the word and so one thing we invite you guys as the school board to do we have a little little um, pledge that we would love you all to sign as kind of a so you're the first ones to sign it and it would be nice to frame it and hang it up next to our big banner so I would like to invite you all to sign it Thank you so much for having us and joining our quest to eliminate the derogatory term. Uh, we call it the R word. I talk, we teach our students not even to t uh, say the word anymore, but the R word. Uh, appreciate it. If you need to reach us for any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you. <laughs>